got a Hampshire uh, Hampshire male here out of the 346 litter, and I'll give you a rundown on, on this particular pedigree. These are 345s uh, out of a lion's share daughter, and, and that's been a, a genetic combination that's been pretty consistent and pretty predictable here of late. Um, 345 is a top gun son that we raised here and kept internally and have used uh, used pretty hard. Uh, we've, we've used him across uh, nearly, uh, if not all, most of our Hampshire sows to this point and have really, really liked what we've seen. Uh, those pigs have fed well uh, in the early going. Uh, the champion bear there at Kansas City, the reserve bear at Denver, uh, those were both 345s and uh, a couple of those gilts there at San Antonio that did well uh, were out of 345. So, uh, neat pigs. Um, I like where this one's at, uh, in particular, uh, relative to his pedigree and relative to his size uh, on this 346 litter. Probably the easiest way to say it is, this is what uh, a lot of Hampshire bears that have left here in one and started out, this, th this is pretty close to what they've looked like. They're very good in their build, their skeletons, right? Um, their bone is very immature. Um, you know, this one definitely needs yanked off a feeder and needs put on a diet. And I think you'll see a pretty rapid change in what you're dealing with there. But um, I guess don't be concerned or swayed away by just the awkwardness of uh, composition for, for a younger pig like this. I mean, this one's got some size and some weight in his favor there. But his build is right. He's got some arm. He's got some rear bone density. But, excuse me, the way that these are fed... I definitely anticipate that to, uh, to to go ahead and continue to keep stoutening up. And as this one kind of trims up there going forward, I think this Hampshire bear has got to try or has a shot to be uh, to be real competitive there in that breed this summer.